The rain flow counting algorithm is used in the analysis of fatigue data in order to reduce a spectrum of varying stress into a set of simple stress reversals. Its importance is that it allows the application of Miner's rule in order to assess the fatigue life of a structure subject to complex loading. The algorithm was developed by Tatsuo Endo and M. Matsuishi in 1968. Though there are a number of cycle counting algorithms for such applications, the rain flow method is the most popular as of 2008. Downing and Sosi created one of the more widely referenced and utilized rain flow cycle counting algorithms in 1982, which was included as one of many cycle counting algorithms in ASTM E1049-85. This algorithm is used in Sandia National Laboratory's LIFE2 code for the fatigue analysis of wind turbine components. Igor Reklik gave a mathematical definition for the rain flow counting method, thus enabling closed-form computations from the statistical properties of the load signal. For simple periodic loadings, such as figure 1, rain flow counting is unnecessary. That sequence clearly has 10 cycles of amplitude 10 per and a structure's life can be estimated from a simple application of the relevant SN curve. Compare this with figure 2 which cannot be assessed in terms of simply described stress reversals. The algorithm, reduce the time history to a sequence of peaks and valleys. Imagine that the time history is a template for a rigid sheet. Turn the sheet clockwise 90 a degree. Each tensile peak is imagined as a source of water that drips down the pagoda. Count the number of half cycles by looking for terminations in the flow occurring when either, it reaches the end of the time history. It merges with a flow that started at an earlier tensile peak. Or, it flows when an opposite tensile peak has greater magnitude. Repeat step 5 for compressive valleys. Assign a magnitude to each half cycle equal to the stress difference between its start and termination. Pair up half cycles of identical magnitude to count the number of complete cycles. Typically, there are some residual half cycles. Example. The stress history in figure 2 is reduced to peaks and valleys in figure 3. Half cycle starts at tensile peak and terminates opposite a greater tensile stress, peak. Its magnitude is 16 per. Half cycle starts at tensile peak and terminates where it is interrupted by a flow from an earlier peak its magnitude is 17 per. Half cycle starts at tensile peak and terminates at the end of the time history. Similar half cycles are calculated for compressive stresses and the half cycles are then matched. Block loading example, there are many cases in which a structure will undergo periodic loading. Assume that a specimen is loaded periodically until failure. The number of blocks endured before failure can be determined easily by using the Palmgren minor rule of block loading. The actual load history is shown in figure 5. If all of the similar loads are grouped together, it forms a series of block loads as shown in figure 6. The Palmgren minor rule can be expressed as where B equals number of blocks, NK equals number of cycles of loading condition, K and FK equals number of cycles to failure for loading condition, K. In this example, each NK equals 1 because there is one instance of each load for every period of loading. To find NF for each load the Goodman-Baskin relation can be used. Where, I florin N equals stress amplitude, I florin F equals fatigue strength coefficient, I florin M equals mean stress, I florin ALT equals ultimate stress. B equals fatigue strength exponent. Assumptions There are two key assumptions made in in order to rearrange the loads into blocks. These assumptions may affect the validity of the procedure depending on the situation. 1. The loads are independent. 2. The order of loading does not matter. References Matsuishi, M. and Endo, T. Fatigue of metals subjected to varying stress, Japan SOC. Mech. Engineering. Downing, S.D., Soci, D.F. Simple Rain Flow Counting Algorithms. International Journal of Fatigue, Volume 4, Issue 1, January, 31-40. ASTM E1049-85 Standard Practices for Cycle Counting and Fatigue Analysis. ASTM International. Schluter. L Programmer's Guide for LIFE2's Rain Flow Counting Algorithm. 
Sandia Report SAND 90-2260. Reclick, IA New Definition of the Rain Flow Cycle Counting Method, Int. J Fatigue 92, 119-121. External Links, STO Flow Freeware Rain Flow Cycle Counting Excel Template, MATLAB Central Rain Flow Counting Method, WAFO. Wave Analysis for Fatigue and Oceanography. GAC Freeware Rainflow Cycle Counting, Vibration Data Rainflow Tutorials and MATLAB Scripts.